Good morning everybody, this is your mini introduction for Monday's maths lesson. Now, I have got an analogue clock and the analogue clock is very important as this week we are focusing on time. Now, as you can see, I have got one hand in blue that is very, very tall and I have another hand which is in red and that is short. Can you remember what we call these? Tell your grown up now. If not, I'm going to remind you. The blue hand, which is our really tall hand, is called the minute hand. And the minute hand tells us how many minutes have passed from the hour. And the short hand, this red one here, we call an hour hand. And that hand always points to one of the numbers. Here, I have got the minute hand pointing to the 12 and the hour hand pointing to the nine. Can anyone remember what this time is? When the minute hand points to the 12, we call it o'clock. And when the hour hand points to the number, it will tell us the time. So here we have got nine o'clock. Let's have a look at another one, shall we? Now here, my minute hand is pointing to the six. And my hour hand has just gone past the number 10. Can you tell your grown-up what time this is? Let's have a look together. Now, when my minute hand, my long tall hand, is on the six, that means it's half past. Let's have a look at the hour hand now. Now my hour hand has just gone past the 10, but it hasn't gone past the 11. So that means it's half past 10. Let's have a look at another one. Now, my minute hand again is now on the three. Hmm. And my hour hand is pointing at the four. Can you tell your grown up what this time is? Now, let's have a look together then. When our minute hand is pointing to the three, that means it's a quarter past time. Let's have a look at the hour hand. Our hour hand is on the four. So the time we have here is quarter past four. I've also got one last really tricky one I thought we could have a look at as well. We've learnt o'clock, half past and quarter past. Let's have a look at my last one. This time my minute hand is pointing to the nine and my hour hand is pointing just to near the eleven. Can anyone remember what this time will be? Let's have a look together. Now, when our minute hand is pointing to the nine, we say quarter to. And when we look at the hour hand, we can see, like we said earlier, it's just pointing towards the 11. That means it is quarter to 11. Let's have a look together and see if you can tell your grown up some of these times. Well done, it's one o'clock because the hour hand is pointing to the one and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. Mm. 
Well done. It's half past three. Can you tell your grown-up why it's half past three? Excellent. It's because the minute hand is pointing to the six and the hour hand is just between the three and four. Let's have another one, shall we? Can you tell your grown-up this time? Excellent. It's quarter past seven. Can you tell your grown-up why it's quarter past seven? Brilliant. Our minute hand is pointing to the three and our hour hand is pointing to the seven. Last one. Can you tell me what this time is? Make sure it's nice and straight. Brilliant. It's quarter to twelve. Can you tell your grown-up why it's quarter to twelve? Excellent. The minute hand is on the nine and the hour hand is near the twelve. Super work everybody. Well done. Now, me, Miss Ford and Miss Billick have set you all a very exciting task. We thought that you could create your very own clocks, what you can use all week to help you do all of your super time work. So your job is to follow all of the instructions and create a fantastic clock and make sure you remember to colour it all in nice and neatly so that you have a really colourful clock as well. And remember, when you've done that, if you could get your grown-up to take a photo and send it to me and Miss Billick and Miss Ford, we'd really, really like to see the fantastic clocks that you've made at home. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.